Okay, the next one on our list is E411. E411 indicates they give us adjusted trial balance for Rock Profits Corp. And it reports that they had equipment that cost $250,000. And for the current year, they've recorded $30,000 in depreciation, which brings the total depreciation to $150,000. They then they give, give us some formats and, and some headings. And they ask us to report the information as would show up on the balance sheet or income statement. Okay, so I've kind of written this out for you. This being over here, the income statement. And I've only wrote, written out expenses because revenue won't be applicable for this problem. And this being the balance sheet over here. And I've only written out the assets and then kind of subtotal them here because this is the only part that's going to be applicable, okay? They tell us that the original cost of the equipment was $250,000. That is historical cost. Remember, we operate on the historical cost assumption. doesn't matter what the value changes over time. We record down the original cost, right? The second part that they give us, they tell us that accumulated depreciation up to date is now 150000 Okay, We're going to put parentheses around this indicating that we're subtracting out the amount. Right, 250 minus 150 means that we have 100000 net book value. NBV stands for net book value. This is also known as carrying value, CV, or just book value. Usually abbreviate this book and then value. All right. So all of these mean the same thing. They're just different terminologies. The reason why I show you this here, this net book value, is because this is how it would look on a financial statement. It would either look like this or it would say something like whatever the um, asset is, if it's equipment or whatever. Usually we group it into property, plant, and equipment, which is abbreviated PPE. And then it would have a comma and say net. And what that indicates is that accumulated depreciation has already been taken taken out of this amount. And then they would have the amount over here, right? So this is one of two ways is how it would show up on the financial statements, okay? But I want you to be familiar with how we calculate net book value. This will be even more important when we get into chapter nine, okay? All right, over here on the income statement, we'll be recording depreciation expense because depreciation expense is, in, is on the income statement, it's an expense, right? And so that's 30,000 that they give us for the current year, okay? This is all they actually ask us to do. What part goes here? Here on the balance sheet, what part goes here on the income statement. But with this information, what I want you to be familiar with is the journal entry, because this is the current year amount. The journal entry that you would actually record is debit, depreciation, expense. Again, I'll write this out for you. It's a plus expense and a minus SE, right? The amount is 30000 And we would credit accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation is a contra asset, so we'll do a plus XA, which actually decreases overall assets. And we'll do 30,000 over here. The thing I want you to remember is accumulated depreciation is a running tally. The balance sheet accounts, all accounts that show up on the balance sheet are what we call permanent accounts. And we'll get to that when we talk about closing journal entries. But the balance sheet accounts and all the accounts that show up on it, they're considered permanent accounts. They never go away. Unless you write them off, they never go away. So, an accumulated depreciation, right? During the current year, we added 30000 here, okay? We got an ending balance that they told us, the up-to-date ending balance, of 150000 Notice it's on the credit side. Why? It's a contra asset. To increase accumulated depreciation, you credit it. It's contra, contradicting, contradicting two assets, right? To increase an asset, you debit it. So the contra to that would be a credit. So to increase accumulated depreciation, you credit it. But because it's a running tally, and we get to 150000 at the end of the year, we can solve for what the beginning balance must have been. If we added this during the year and we got to this at the end of the year, this must be 120. Does that make sense? Okay. So the thing I want you to get out of this is that accumulated depreciation is a contra asset. It keeps a running tally. Depreciation expense, this is for a single period or a single year, you could call it, really. Because as we'll talk about in closing journal entries, all of the income statement accounts, whether it's an expense or revenue, all the income statement accounts, they will close to zero at the end of the year. And we'll talk about their, that during our closing journal entries. But for right now, this is problem E411. Email me your questions.